guys welcome back to my channel i'm abby and on my channel i share fashion beauty and lifestyle content so today i will be sharing a commence sustainable fashion haul if you're looking for high quality pieces that wouldn't break the bank i think it's worth definitely checking out the styles that i picked from the upcoming season for spring summer most of these pieces will be feminine classic timeless pieces that will be great if you're looking for different pieces for either your vacation work as well as any summer event that you may have coming up where you want to look a little girly and classy and on my channel i try to share as much sustainable fashion i know for some comments is compared to zara and h&m however i like the fact that comments is it's more of a forward-thinking fashion brand that try their best to be as sustainable as possible with their mission to create styles that are high quality while minimizing the environmental impact so they use a lot of like innovative eco-friendly material such as organic cotton recycled polyester and bamboo fabric and if you're not aware sometimes or clothing that might be cheaper might be using very harmful chemicals that are not good and are seeping into our skin so i really like the fact that they pay attention to not just the well-being of the environment but also to the consumer and our bodies first dress that i got is the kami floral bohemian vacation midi dress and i got it in blue it comes in a variety of colors there's pink yellow white which has like a little bit of reds in it and red which is a mix of white as well and for my skin tone i thought the blue was the best for me because i think it would pop on my skin tone and if i didn't get the blue i probably would have gotten the pink in terms of height i am 5 6 and the size that i got was a size small so the material is a jersey material it is very stretchy so according to how you like your dresses to fit if you wanted to hug you even tighter you could go a size down however i would say it's true to size i like a little bit of room in my dresses i don't like wearing things that are super duper tight anymore and the material is five percent elastin 95 percent polyester and it's a lettuce trim print the ruffles just gives it that soft feminine appeal so it's like it doesn't feel too serious more laid back and it is a more like romantic type of style and I like the fact that you could dress it up or down. I paired it with heels, this burgundy heel, and also the burgundy clutch. And I thought it just gives it that, you know, elegant type of feel. But I could also see myself wearing this with sandal if I'm just probably going to like a hole where I don't need to be dressed up as much definitely pack this for a vacation outing this i would do more of like a day event this is the always in love shoulder bag and i got it in red i've been obsessed with this color i was like i need to get like a structured handbag which would be great for like more of that classy feminine look and i would say it's pretty sturdy and for it being just 45 dollars i would say it's pretty good in terms of quality and the straps are adjustable and in the inside you have the filler for you to make sure that you keep the shape of the bag you can hold essentials in there for sure and it has one compartment and another on the other side you have one on this side sit on the other but yeah the quality again it's very nice and also too you have a little space in here as well 
too. You also have the protections on the bottom just so that it doesn't grease the leather. And another reason too why I got the red is because of the gold detailing. I tend to wear a lot of gold jewelry. It would be a great budget-friendly handbag to add for the more feminine, classy, girly style. Because you see so many of these designer handbags that are astronomical in price. If you could get a great quality handbag for a reasonable price as $45, I say why not. So next up, we have the solid v-neck backless tie-up halter and split maxi skirt set so in terms of size i got this in a size small however if you have this struggle as a woman that is small on top but wider on the bottom when it comes to sets that you're not able to get a different size for the top and the, the bottom it could be hard to navigate in terms of sizing I really wanted to love this set. However, the top, though it was small and it it fit, I think it I would have been better off getting it in the medium because of the pulling. It's not a stretchy material, so with the top and the bottom being so form fitting, it it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. With the skirt, it is see-through due to it not being lined all the way down and that is because of the slit in the back. I think it is not going to be as noticeable if it was probably in my size. Most likely I would want to try to get this in a medium. But other than that, I think the set is very chic and the white against brown skin I, I just love. It's more like a classy leisure look and I've been loving like a more tailored halter top with the back out. So the concept of the set I love however the fit is where it gets kind of tricky. So I would say this does not run true to size especially if you have more hips and but I would size up for sure. So next up we have the cold shoulder ribbed midi net dress. It's giving more of a skims vibe. It's a great basic to have and having a basic dress like this could be easy to style in your wardrobe because you, you could style it different ways. It's a great base. So in terms of the material it actually is a nice stretchy but still very flattering material. It's a cold shoulder neckline so it's nice and wide and elegant. It's a soft sweetheart neckline. It's more of a ribbed material and I was pleasantly surprised by the fits. And I would say it's true to size. It's not meant to fit baggy. If you like skins fit, I think you would probably want to give this a try. And for $24, it's, it's pretty good. I would say I, I would say it actually is equivalent to styles that I have gotten from Zara, H&M, Abercrombie that are very similar. And for $24, I think this is a great deal. And how the short sleeve cut, you would think that it might be a little uncomfortable. Actually, it's not. It it actually sits nicely on the shoulder. So it's a wide cut it doesn't fall off when it comes to undergarments i think that will definitely make or break a dress like this just to make sure that everything just falls smoothly and i thought the beige with the red wine color it's an unexpected type of combination so i would definitely love to wear the this combo for sure together wear it to like an event it's minimal but you're still able to make an impact because of how well it fits next we have the golden time belt and i would say this is a dupe for the celine belt the quality is really good i must say and I always suggest when it comes to 
to dupes it's more or less a way of seeing if you actually like this style so that if you want to invest in the designer piece you will know for sure i will be using quite frequently i got the size small you could adjust it easy you snap it right here it's more like a chestnut brown and i think this is a great neutral so you can easily pair it with like jeans or a dress pan for work for more elegant styles i got patchwork off the shoulder pleated mini dress fabric is a woven fabric on the top and this is a patchwork pleated design like i love how smooth the material is and it, it just contrasts well with the pleats on the bottom black and white combo with the design of this dress i really really love it's edgy but it's also very elegant at the same time it's a great combination of both it's high enough in the back so you will have enough support however you wouldn't have to worry with it spilling over because it has material that allows it to sit on your skin so it's not going to be flapping over so that it stays in place and pairing it with a pop of red this color combo is my favorite it's more of like a combination of edge and romance so the skirt the pleated skirt has that girly type of vibe to it but the cinch in the waist gives it that sharp edgy inlined type of look very contemporary modern type of vibe it may not be for everybody but if, you, if you're looking for something that's different and more modern i think this is the right style to try it does fit true to size i would say however in terms of the arms it is going to be tight now anytime when you do any anything off the shoulder most parts if you plan on moving your arms a lot or you want to be raising your hands this is not going to be a dress this is the sitting pretty more picturesque type of dress it's not your get down you want to have fun whole night type of look it's definitely more specific when it comes to where you're going when you want to wear this dress I would say this is more for like a fashion event that doesn't require you to really do any too much you could shake hands you could hug i just think this is not a party dress so next up we have this laced up pleated maxi dress in off-white and it also comes in black so i absolutely love how easy this dress just feels on it's stretchy super duper comfortable and it's 100% polyester you can size down I got my original size which is a size small and I like that in terms of length it's not super duper long in terms of the length with heels it's it's perfect if you're below 5'3 it might be too long for you and the pleats I would say is so romantic and flattering with the slit in the neckline so you have the combination of the halter and the v-neck in the center so i would say you get the best of both worlds if you love showing off your arms like myself and i really love how it showed off my curves without being too risky and i could see myself wearing this to a wedding a party vacation dinner and it's definitely party appropriate compared to the last pleated dress so the jersey material just gives it that ease so you could dance whole night without any fuss at all if you're looking for like beach wedding dress this will be a great selection last but not least we have this satin knotted dual pockets open back pleated mini dress and it only comes in black and what I really love about this dress is the cut and the fit of the dress for sure. In terms of the material, it is a satin material that is very shiny. I would say 
I'm not as big of a fan of the material. I think I would have preferred if it was in that woven fabric as the pleated dress I showed you guys earlier. However, if you like that high shiny type of look with this style, I think you would definitely like it. You get a bit of romance, sexy and flirty type of vibes with this dress. I wouldn't suggest wearing this particular dress anywhere that is super windy because you're going to flash somebody. I would say this dress reminds me of my graduation from high school. So for me, it can be, a, it, it gives me a little bit dated because of the satin. However, I think I would have appreciated it more if it wasn't in that shiny satin material. The color less neckline is so flattering yeah, the backless knotted tail is so flattering you could check out how to tie the back if you may be a bit confused when you purchase it it's supposed to be a mini dress so keep that in mind if you are taller and in terms of material it is not stretchy however i would say it fits true to size i wore a size small and in the waist it fits perfectly and i don't think this is a dress you want to go up in size because it's meant to highlight your waist being cinched and the skirt being flowy so i would say definitely get the size that you usually get if you're interested in this style. This style is perfect for an indoor party event. And that's all for today for my feminine and elegant styles from comments for spring summer. Let me know in the comments what you think about these styles and which ones you might be interested in trying out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.